Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Jumping right into today's video, I'm starting off by going ahead and priming her nail with the Nail Like Lucy primer. And I'm going in and adding a thin clear base layer. And I'm going to be doing a medium pink and purple ombre. The nude I'm using is, I think it's called Naomi Nude. It's from 876 Nails. And this purple is from Bomb Nails. She's going to be releasing a um, another spring collection. And this one was from her very first spring collection. After I'm done, I'm going to be applying the purple to the tips. Sorry about this looking a little bit dark on camera in person. It was not this dark, but at the same time on camera, it was literally looking fluorescent white while I was recording. So I ended up changing the focus to make it just a tad bit darker. But after I'm editing it, editing it now, it looks like it's kind of like I only have one light on, but I have both lights on. So sorry about that. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share me the bell. Everything I have linked to be linked to down below in the description. Um, the paper towels I'm using are blue shop towels. The monomer is acrylic creamery monomer. And y'all, I am completely out of monomer. And also, sorry for just jumping in when the tips were already applied and the nose were already prepped. I had already just removed her previous set and I wanted to record that, but then she told me not to. So I just kept going and then I finally got to record um, me doing the acrylic application, shaping and all that. Using a pigmented color like I am or just in general, like even if you were using a white, make sure you blend this first color very, very well because the nude I'm going to be blending over it is incredibly sheer. So it's not going to um, cover the line of demarcation up as best as like a really opaque nude would. But at the same time, a really opaque nude might have a hard time blending. And also it's not the color she wanted. She wanted um uh, she told me a set that was exactly like this i don't know who it was by i think she found it on pinterest but it was just a light purple like this and then the nude pink just like the one i'm using and it was blended together and she liked that so that's what i'm doing here so just make sure you blend it very 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 well but at the same time you make sure that there's still a good amount of color there but if you leave the line very very harsh it's going to be hard for you to ombre the nude over it because it's going to show through I wait for the first color to dry and then I go ahead and do my ombre and then also this brush I'm using had a ton of acrylic in it. I really need to go and clean out all my brushes but make sure you're not doing this too too thick because the blend might be a little bit hard to get sometimes um, so you might have to keep blending a little bit of nude and purple and all that back and forth but you still have to encapsulate in order to protect the blend because once the drill bit goes over it it's just going to go ahead and take all that color off, take away the blend and everything like that. So, yes, I'm not trying to make these too, too thick, but at the same time, I'm not trying to make it super, super thin. Um, but when I add my clear, I will just put it over the entire nail and then go ahead and file as usual. Before you start doing like your acrylic application and all that, you want to make sure you blend in the um, acrylic tips, especially where it meets the natural nail. Like, you know how like the little wings of the tip stick out sometimes or like that little ridge where it kind of like jumps up to the actual tip? You might want to get rid of that um, because for me personally, I can't ombre well with it because it kind of makes like a little bump and the bump gets bigger and bigger and bigger every time you try and like cover it up and sometimes it shows through the ombre like you can literally see where that the tip is and you can't get rid of it unless you blend it before you start applying the acrylic
So I went ahead and switched to my size 20. Now, like Lucy brush, the brush I was using before is the size 12 um, balm nails brush. And I'm going back to doing my little balm nails reviews like I was the first time. Y'all, I wanted to buy her Valentine's Day collection so bad. But I literally kept missing it. Like, she was like, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. And then I was like, ooh, I'm going to buy it. But then by the time I remembered to buy it, it was sold out already. So yeah um she might have individual colors left if she does i will most definitely get some because they looked so good and like i said all i'm doing is encapsulating i really do cover the entire nail but i don't really have to um i do it anyways but the main reason why i encapsulate is to finish out building the structure of the nail as well as protecting my ombre So here are the colors. Now I'm going in with the 180 100 gray hand file and just disconnecting any acrylic that could be stuck to um, her skin. And then I'm going to go in with the fine tapered ceramic drill bit and go around her cuticle area as well as the rest of the nail. That bit is not a safety door bit, so be very careful when going around the cuticle area, but I've just been preferring it. Um, I'm using a 180 grit sanding band right now. The reason why I've been preferring um, the ceramic over the metal Pana 5-in-1 is because I noticed a tip on that one doesn't let me get all the way back there like I need to and it was just kind of like taking away too much but also not taking away where I needed it to take away and it was leaving deep lines into the actual acrylic so I decided to go back to using that and so far so good um, I just have to be very very careful I remember to push it back on the acrylic and not let it um, hit 
the sides of the, the skin so once you do that it's fine now i'm going in and actually shaping the nails i will flip the nails around to look at it from her perspective so i can get the nails 100 percent square always double check your length and your shape um so one nail is not longer than the other or one hand is longer and yes these nails were just meant to be regular square Now I'm going in and getting up anything that could be underneath the nail. Sometimes it's like excess tip or some acrylic could have spilled down underneath. So I want to go ahead and clean it up just so she's not trying to pick at it. And also you can take down some of the length um, at the step like right before this before I start filing the tip. Now I'm going in and buffing the nail to make sure there is no scratches left from the hand file or the e-file. After that's done, I went ahead and dust off the nails again. Now I'm giving them a wipe down with the cleanser from LGN. You can use regular alcohol if you'd like, and that will be it. I'm going in with the Nile Carmona top coat, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and the bell. Everything I will link to be linked to down below in the description. I'm going to be curing this for a full 120 seconds and adding some bomb nail rose scented cuticle oil and that will be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.